Okay, so we've got our template open. The first thing that we want to do is find your layers panel. It's probably down here with your channels and pads like this. I like to have my layers panel as tall as possible when I'm giving demonstrations. That way you can see what's going on. So I actually like to put mine in this kind of sidebar thing and open it like that so I can see at least five or six layers at a time. You can also just completely disconnect it and have it floating around wherever you want. You can always just dock it back into its dock um, or reset the workspace to put it back into the right place. But I'm going to leave it here uh, so that I can see it and make it as tall as possible. The next thing we're going to do with the layers panel is make it easier to see what's actually on your layers. So by default, I believe your panels look something like that, right? You can't really see what's on them. They're like about the size of your thumbnail, maybe smaller. And most of what you can see is empty background. In order to see what's on the layer itself, we're going to go up to the hamburger menu. That's um, the four lines stacked on top of each other in the top right. I'm going to zoom in here. Top right of your layers panel. You're going to have to click and hold that one to open it. You're going to go all the way down and find your panel options. So one more time, pancake menu, hamburger menu, however you like to call it. Click, go all the way to panel options. Now the thumbnail size is going to be entirely up to you and how good your eyes are. I like to keep mine at the medium size because I have bad eyesight. What really matters is we want to change the thumbnail contents from entire document to layer bounds. And what that means is in your little thumbnail preview, it is only going to show you what is on the layer, not what the whole document looks like with it on the layer, just what is there on the layer. So I'm going to switch this to layer bounds. And now you can see one, you can see what's on each layer and only what's on the layer instead of the whole layer at once. So I can see that on this first layer circle blend, I have a cyan colored circle. On the second circle layer, I have a circle base circle that's yellow. And I just made them bigger so they're easier to see up here. I can actually make them even bigger panel options and choose the absolutely ginormous one. Okay. So what you'll notice is that there are already a bunch of layers here for you. So you don't need to draw anything new or mess around with any uh, brushes or anything like that. Uh, the pieces are already here. You just have to solve the puzzle using blending modes. Oop. 